Hello guys and girls and welcome back to the next episode of Cities Skylines with me, Biffa. Thank you very much for joining me and thank you as well for all the great comments, the support, the likes and everything you've been leaving. I really do appreciate that. We're just taking a little tour here around the outskirts of the last section that we made. Oh, where's this guy going? Um, I'm not sure where this one's going. I thought he was going to go left there and he's going right. Oh, he's going up to the end of the mountain. And then he'll probably come back again. I tell you what, let's zoom, let's zoom out. Let's zoom out of that. There we go. This is I. <laughs> I thought he was going to go around this way and take a look at this. We built this last episode uh, over on this sort of peninsula area of our map, and look how our city is going at the moment. We're up to what are we up to? Eighty-four thousand people still growing. Uh, our money's a bit lower because I've just spent a load of money buying some tiles. I've only got these left, and then we've got the whole map, so we're almost there. But it's going absolutely brilliantly. We've got a bit of a need that we need to fill for some residential. This is going to be a nice residential area here. I'm thinking sort of high-rise type stuff here, like this, going down into maybe some. This sort of suburbs, but because they're going up in towards the mountain. And then we can start doing some mountain stuff as well. We'll see how far we get. But I've just been looking around. This is episode 30 of the series. And I thought we'd just spend a few minutes looking around our city. Let's start right back where our city first began. <laughs> it's so far away, I forget where it was. Right over here. This is the main junction. There we go. Into our city. And just look what it looks like now. It's it's so built up. It's absolutely looking amazing. I love it. So you, you drive down here. And we started off with two little roads coming off of here in this little junction. So we had this little section here with the farmland. Quite a busy stretch of road here. The farmers taking out all their wares. And then we had a little bit of uh, residential up over here. But it's just grown so much since we started. It's absolutely brilliant. I like this little area here, leading over to the British Isles, British Island. So we've got this little park. Where's the park that we made that was here? Here we go, this park here. Put this one together with a few nice props out of the game. I like this one a lot. For those that are probably wondering, that's called the Chill Park. And then this is one of the ones that's built in. Oh no, the Falling Pillars Park. That's another, another asset that you need to download. But I like that little park. And that leads over to British Island over here. This is a very quiet little area. Ferries to get backwards and forwards. Got a fishing pier over here. They do enjoy some fishing sometimes. And they do a million buses. <laughs> what the heck? They're all creeping up this road to turn around at the end to go back. Go on, swing it round. You can do it. He did it. Well done. Lots of buses. Lots of tourism coming up in this area. So that was another area that we made. I do like these buildings though. They look really cool. Lots of really cool stuff. I quite often take high-res pictures of the city to use in my thumbnails. If you don't know how to do that, it's Shift F12 rather than just F12. And it just ends up looking absolutely amazing. But all of my assets are listed below. If you, They're not in a collection, I'm afraid. It would take me far too long to go through and stick them in a collection myself. This is a good one. I haven't seen this one before. This sort of curved one here. But, uh, yeah, if you want to go and check them out, they are all there. There is a park in here somewhere. Oh, it's, this is it here. Oh, what's happened there? Oh, have I accidentally put... <laughs> I've accidentally put buildings inside my park. I didn't even realise I'd done that. But actually, that doesn't look too bad, does it? I mean, this was all cleared out to be a huge park on its own. <laughs> and at some point, I've come along and I've just put uh, buildings inside. But I think that looks okay. It's like a green space in between the buildings. Very nice. Then we expanded over here. And this was our commercial zone. So this sort of shopping commercial zone here is a little bit separate from everything else. So it's a little bit greener. We've got the... Now, what's this called? I can't remember. The Botanical Gardens here. Oh, I think there's an autosave going on. Botanical Gardens here that leads into this commercial area. And it's right opposite our big jiggery pokery hub. Um, so what I went for here, I wanted to use this sort of quadrant. Qu quadrant. 
can't say it properly, to try and fit as much mass transit stuff in as possible. So we managed to get in here a bus station, a multi-platform end station, the monorail to tram hub. Uh, I think that's just a bus depot. Yeah, we've got the trams that go up and down there, the monorails, the trains that like jump in the tracks. <laughs> we try and ignore that. Tram depot. I've really tried to squeeze as much in as possible. And you can see I've sort of fiddled around. I don't think I showed this on camera. To join as many of these up as possible. Um, so we can have more lines coming in and out. So that, that works really well. I like the way this looks. It's always really busy inside here. Look. Look at all the people. So many people. And also, if we check uh, on here. Oh, our traffic's doing good at the minute. 75%. It was 76 a minute ago, which I think is possibly the highest it's ever been. 11,000 people a week have been transported by all this sort of stuff. So that is working really well. And then we expanded our industry. So we've got an oil industry section here, a farming industry section there. Although that may move because we do have lots and lots of other areas that could be farms and things. So we might put the farming industry up here and change that. But it's going okay at the minute. I don't want to remove anything. Um, and then over here, we added in right smack bang in the middle of our industry i like doing things like this because this is what it would be in i, I tend to try and lean towards realism up to a point i'm not saying everything i do is 100 percent realistic because it isn't but you know those of you out there that say oh to solve the traffic problems just stick that thing up here in the middle of this field and join it up to the motorway yeah that would probably happen but then what would happen after that industry would build up around it so you wouldn't have a train station in the middle of a field you'd probably have a cargo train station with a load of industry that's built up around it so that's what we did here and it was a cool little project trying to work out how to get the roads working and everything like that and if we just look at the traffic it is considering where it is right smack bang in the middle it works fine so they come straight in they go there and then they go underground and that comes out over here and it comes out over here. So you can go either way. So that's a nice little area there. And then further down the coast, we've got like a water treatment plant. And a bit of industry that we put together. Some offices. And then even further down, we have our nuclear power plant. I'm still working on this area. I may remodel it a bit. It, it hasn't turned out as well as I thought. We'll, we'll work on that another time. But it's not going too bad. It's not going too bad. Then we had this island here, Party Island. So this is connected via undersea rail. So there we go. We've got a rail that goes under there and comes out. Um, where does it come out? Where does it come out? Over here? Yeah, there it is. Over there. Joins to this nice little station here. And this is all party type commercial stuff. So we've got ferries coming in. We've got our train. We've got a little tiny road for our services. We've got lots of hotels all built up around here. Which I think look really cool. And then over here we've got some sort of fishing. Got a parking lot. That really needs to be raised up a bit, doesn't it? <laughs> That's a bit lumpy bumpy. Uh, fishing and stuff. And they can come out and do tours of the bay. And all that sort of thing. Right opposite. Yep, the water treatment plant. <laughs> what is that? Sewage. Yeah, the sewage treatment plant things. Water treatment plants. Lovely, lovely. Oh, let's turn that off. There we go. So that's that little island. Uh, I've, I've sort of lost the order I was doing things in now. But anyway, then we had... Oh, before we had that, we had our university island. There we go. So we've got like a modern university looking island with these faculty buildings. I like those because they sort of randomly come out in different colours. So there we go. And this modern looking... What was this one called? Advanced University. I think it has a great big... Uh, students, 3,800. So this had a little single train that came backwards and forwards here. Again, joins to our jiggery pokery hub and a small road. And I like this a lot. We've got the cable cars that go across the... Uh, is it going through that bridge? Oh, darn it. I need to lift that up a bit, don't I? Okay. I'll add that to my mental list. We've got cable cars that come across here as well from our jiggery pokery hub. There we go. It's right there. And they also continue on to Party Island. So you can get a lift over to there. But I thought that... Uh, I like the university build. That was interesting. I like that one. 
Very good, very good. And then we have our airport. Nah, I've seen lots of comments about the airport. Again, I'm not entirely happy with this area. I'll probably rebuild this again at some point. This is another one on the list of things to rebuild. But it works. It gets people in. It is connected to the motorway. Some people haven't realised this road here comes up to there, connects to the highway, the motorway area. So, whoa, that was a close shave, wasn't it? So that's that. And then we basically expanded and expanded and expanded. We filled up these little islands here. Oh, we've got Sporty Island. I forgot about that one. Sporty Island over here with some football um, pitches, practice football pitches. Oh, we've got a train line we haven't used. Look. Oh. I wonder where I could send that one to. I'd completely forgotten about that one. Anyway. So yeah, we've got Sporty Island. Let's see how the uh let's see how the matches have been going. Oh, we've lost a couple of matches. Oh, that's not good. Next match against Rockwood FC. This is Sippity City FC. Four for the ninth. So a couple of weeks. A lot of upkeep. I'm spending all the extra money on the training and effort like you're supposed to. But there we go. You win some, you lose some. But yeah, we've got this area here. Really used well. Lots of people coming and going here. And we've got buses coming out to here. As you can see, we've got train coming out to here. I don't think... Do we have tube coming out to here? We may do... Metro. Uh, that one. Are you going to show me underground? Yes, we do. We have Metro coming out here as well. Ah, excellent. That's good. And we've got a bus station. We've got ferries. All sorts of things going on on this island good 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 and then what i've done then is we've expanded down the coastline so we sort of built up into this mountain area here we worked on this section so we've got a little bit along the beach here which is more a nice smaller area you know low density residential stuff enjoying the beachfront some of it has sort of upgraded itself a little bit as we move over here into this area we've got a little park in the middle of the roundabout i like that i think that looks nice it's this way around there we go. <laughs> that looks good. And then, uh, yeah, and then we've expanded all of this. I mean, this has all been built up. And this is looking really good. Got a bit of industry. Got ore industry, another farming area. And then up into our mountain. Oh, we've got a fire up in the mountain. Are they here putting it out? They're here putting it out. So we're not, it's not too bad. This house is like right smack in the middle. Is he going to stay safe? away from this fire i hope so what's that oh it's a cable car cable cars are still running through the fire don't mind the fire <laughs> look at that oh, it looks funny obviously the fire is not funny it's the fact that there's cable cars running through the middle of it there we go i'll take a screenshot of that there we go that's a bit better you can see the police cars coming and stuff there we go zip let's come back out again so yeah we built up there we go. We built up here. And we've got... This is where we started doing our blimps in this area over here. So that's where our blimp depot is. And they start flying all over the city. And we've built around the back of the mountain as well. Just a few little spits and spots. Uh, this was just sort of thrown in, this stuff here. Because I needed it down there to complete one of the tasks or something like that. Anyway, I want to check on that house. <laughs> they still survive the fire. Oh, they have. Look. They have survived the fire. Who is that that lives there? Center Point Homes. We don't know who actually lives there. But they'll be pleased. Look at these. They're like standing waiting for the bus. <laughs> Watching the fire. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yes. Yeah, so that's the mountain. That's the first one we built on. And then we've just kept expanding down the coast. Uh, this is the Cathedral of Plentitude. I don't have all achievements unlocked i've been enjoying the working through and having to unlock stuff it's a bit of a challenge which when you get to later game and money isn't a problem it's nice to have the other other challenges so i've been enjoying that um i just noticed some of these buildings this one is fantastic but that's the cathedral of plentitude park we renamed this area to the vatican city there we go lots of tea puns going on but that worked out really nicely. I do like that. We've got a little gap over here, which I feel like needs building up. Oh, we've got this little park here I did as well. My fountain. What do we call this one? Kettle Springs. That was it. With my fountains here. 
and the tree. I really like this style of roundabout as well. It's not really a roundabout, is it? It's one way around the outside with the cut-through lanes. And it just gives everybody loads of options on where to go. And it just keeps the traffic moving. It, it does work really well. The more roads there are, the better the traffic flows. Not always, but sometimes. I've got this little roundabout here I did as well. I like that with that little centerpiece. And that leads over, if I remember, to Sporty Island. Yeah, there we go. So that looks good. So there we go. We expanded across here. And then the last thing that we've been working on... What's that? We've got a nice little park area over here. I like these little parks. Plonk down into areas. We've got our, a bus. What's this here? Monorail bus hub. Quite a bit of... Oh, it's not too bad, the traffic. That's just buses going that way. And then, let's go back around here. So we've got the sea facing this way. Just so we can get our bearings. We did this nice cargo transit hub here. And that works really well. So... We're always getting cargo coming in. Here comes another one. Watch out for the ferry. Oh, my goodness me. That was a disaster waiting to happen. He's having another go. He's like, I missed you the first time round. Now his mate's coming along going, watch out. I'll get you. Oh, my goodness. What? Oh, he's waiting for him. Is he going to wait for the next one? No. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> so, yeah, the train's coming in. The cargo ship's coming in. The cargo's coming in here. And since I added this road going underneath there, back to this roundabout and off to the highway, there's no traffic around here at all. But this was like a little area that I made uh, using assets and stuff myself, if you didn't see that. A couple of episodes back, so I've placed all of these. And I think that looks really good. It really makes it look like a proper cargo area. Um, and then what did we do along here? There was something that we were working on. Oh, yeah, that's right. The recycling center. I put a few office buildings down the back here for the workers. But these are all different recycling buildings. Again, lots of different assets. I like this. I like this area a lot. I like the way that turned out. Simple, but there for a purpose. And, yes, this is it. So this was the last day we worked on. We've been working our way towards the Eden Project. Um, this one here. I like this area. We've sort of... Trying to stay away from a grid grid, but building things for a reason. So this has wiggled along the coast. We did this sort of shape. And then we've sort of randomly gone with different types of roads. And it, it works out really nice. I think it works out really good. But yeah, working up towards the Eden Project, we needed the... Was this the servicing services building? This one here. We've had a fire here, obviously. But there is a nice park here. <laughs> it's just all burnt down. The next thing that we need... There we go. That's a mini tour. The next thing that we needed... As you can probably tell... <laughs> I've obviously pressed a load of keys there. The Statue of Industry. If you're going to let me do it. But we need another 5,000 odd industrial areas. So... That's going to be interesting. We we do need to do that. And I'm wondering whether we can sort of have a section here. What have we got here? So we've got farmland, we've got oil, and we've got trees. So I'm thinking if we build this up, as we said we were going to do, into... Let's have a look. Let's grab, let's grab our roads. This one here. And we're going to do this one. It could connect over there and sort of make a... Yeah, like this. Somewhere it lets me connect. There we go. Just have a bit of a crossroads there. And then we can build up some high-density residential in this area. Maybe nothing too fancy on this one. As we've gone a bit fancy with different roads over here. These roads here are a bit weird. Small only roaded bicycle lanes and parking. Yeah, don't see many cars going up them, but they must have access because they've all grown up, so that's fine. So let's do something. Uh, let's do something along here.
Right, so we've got a larger residential area here and it's slowly building up. At the minute, we're sort of hitting a plateau on knees that we have in our city. But I'm finding if you build a nice area, put a load of services in, put a load of parks in, make sure there's transport to and from other places, they will come and move in. So now that we've got a lot of residential, I really want an industry area set up over here so i think we're going to do that as well to really try and push uh towards that bigger industrial target that we need um let's have a look at our roads here this one here could probably just run straight out i think we'll do that with this highway and have it end a little bit further away so let's grab what have we got three lane highway let's delete that uh, Three-lane highway with sound barrier. Yeah, let's take that and we'll upgrade those. Uh, we'll probably upgrade that side. I think everything else has been upgraded apart from these little connections. Let's just do that. Do that all the way across. Probably do that on these ones as well. And the ones in the middle, if I can reach them. There we go, excellent. Um, so let's build this one. I mean, we could end up... I don't really want to connect it up to this. I want this to be sort of like a separate... A separate highway. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do this. We're going to bring it down to there. Um, and that's going to go lined up there as well the same. And then we're going to change those so they're all facing the correct way. We're going to have a roundabout in here, which is then going to feed off for all of the industry that we've got over here. I think that sounds like a good idea. Let's have a look. Have we got one pre-made I can plop down and then work on? Maybe not. Let me put one in myself. So this is going to be our farming area. I'm just thinking, oh, this is building up nicely now. About trying to get people over to here. Uh, we've obviously got bus routes around here that take people to the monorails. We've got this monorail that comes off here. We could run... Let's have a look. We could run a monorail line. Can I connect onto here? Will that not let me connect across there? Even though that sticks out? No. Oh, okay. That's a bit weird. Uh, do I need to upgrade this piece of road? Do I need to do that? What's going on here? Why will that not connect through there? That's very strange. Let's just... Can I delete that? That is no longer connected. Oh, I see. Is that just a bit of... That connects onto there. Oh, what's going on? Something weird is happening to this piece of road. Oh, there we go. Ran the monorail through it and we're doing fine. Let's grab this line here. So I think, I bet if I delete that... Oh, am I going to have the same problem again? Is it... Will that connect to there? Oh, darn it. Why did I delete that? Okay, let's put this little bit back on and it connects up. Weird. Anyway. And then what we can do is run this. Let's see. If we run this, I'm thinking to get a monorail connection up here. So we sort of come past the river. I'm going to put... Should we have a monorail bus hub? Yeah, because then we can have the buses to go out to all of our industry section that we're going to have here. Um, let's have that connect. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, off the side here. That'll be good. And we can connect that road up to it as well. And buses, buses can go up there. Excellent. That works out well. That was the wrong type of road. 
there we go. Good, good. And then we can connect that up. Oh, that needs to connect up into there, doesn't it? <laughs> well, this will be fun. Uh, let's see if we can get this. Will that come out of there? It will. Good, there we go. Let's connect these up. That's a bit wiggly woggly, isn't it? But I can work on that a bit <laughs> a bit later. In fact, let's have a let's have a quick look. Let's just see if we can straighten this up a little bit. Move this one in. Yeah, I'll probably work on that line. But anyway, that brings it across to here. And then we can have buses from there over to this area. Let me set those up first and then we'll get some industry growing in here. There we go. So there's our new beachfront area that we've been working on. That is growing up nicely as well. Industry is growing slowly. Um, what can I do? Let me know in the comments below to really try and push a need for industry um in this area because i mean at the minute if we look at our our needs all together uh, let's just do that let's just do that get those kicked in again uh we've got <laughs> we've got barely any needs at all for anything so um people will move in so i'm wondering whether it's just a case of having much more population oh look we've just passed ninety thousand. oh is that going to start going up again whether it's a case of having much more population will then force a need for industry i'm not entirely sure but let me know in the comments below what we can do to try and help with that let's delete those there we go but yeah this is looking good i found this cool looking administration building i thought i'd put that next to here i think that fits in really well doesn't it but this is going good i'm liking the use of this area here we're definitely going to get some more industry going around here i'm thinking of a football stadium we've got sporty island over here is like the big main sport area but maybe like a baseball stadium or something like that up in this area over here this little area here i think would be really cool so maybe we'll work on that next episode but guys thank you very much for watching look at our city this is as much yours as it is mine it's been going really really well thank you very much for all the help that you give me hit the big b with the tea stain to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next episode maybe maybe we'll hit a hundred thousand population we shall see tune in tomorrow thanks for watching guys Bye-bye.